Philadelphia Zoo holds birthday parties for many of its animals throughout the year. It's a way not only to celebrate, but to educate. Mm -hmm. Reporter John McDevitt from KYW News Radio 1060 takes us to today's celebration. It's a Moni's turn to take her place in the spotlight. The Western Lowland Gorilla is three years old. Many visitors wished her happy birthday and made cards as the birthday girl enjoyed an ice cake with members of her troop. Five-year-old twins Evan Peake and his brother Ben were enjoying the day. So tell me guys, what do you know about gorillas? Um, they, 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 they jump. They jump from tree to tree to tree to tree. Like how? How do they do it? Show me. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a frog, not a gorilla. No. Amani is named after an orphan gorilla at Grace, or the Gorilla Rehabilitation and Conservation Education Center in the Democratic Republic of Congo. The species is considered critically endangered in the wild. Michael Stern is the curator of primates and small mammals at the zoo. He says there are simple things we all can do to help save gorillas' lives in the wild, like recycling your cell phones and small electronics. Every cell phone and small electronic has something in it called coltan. That's a rare earth element, and the easiest place to find it is in the Congo, and that's the heart of gorilla territory. So if we all recycle our old phones and, and uh, electronic devices when we're done with them, uh, you know, we can go out and buy a new one knowing that they didn't need to dig up more of the Congo to find that coltan. They were able to salvage it from the recycled phones. Many of the zoo's animals serve as ambassadors to species in the wild. John McDevitt, KYW News Radio for CBS 3 Eyewitness News.